हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स डिवीजन वन ऑफ द ऑपरेशंस व्हिच कंज्यूम सो मच ऑफ टाइम एंड इफ यू डोंट नो द शॉर्ट ट्रिक्स एंड यू डोंट नो द स्मार्ट मेथड्स टू हैंडल नंबर्स एंड डिवाइड देम मेंटली देन ऑब्वियसली द क्वांटिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड एग्जाम्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स एट द सीनियर लेवल लाइक क्लास 9th 10th 11th एंड 12th दे रिजॉर्ट टू द ट्रेडिशनल मेथड्स यू नो व्हेन दे डिवाइड नंबर्स so you need to be a little smarter with division and this is the intention of this video bringing uh, up some of the very important tricks or you may call them smart methods which will help you in cracking the division problems mentally you can see here i have written eight different problems which can be solved mentally and i am going to demonstrate how the use of smart tricks helps in solving them uh, there is a huge compilation of short tricks and uh, they are all scattered all around right so if you want a compiled form of uh, those uh, short tricks and uh, you want it in the ebook form with the video links you can just send me a message on whatsapp the number is 9896369963 so you can use this number uh, send me a message on whatsapp so that i can tell you how you can procure a combo of short tricks and the reasoning puzzle course Let's see the questions in hand now. The first question here is a very simple question where one of the numbers is a big number and the other one is a decimal. But this particular decimal here, zero point two five, is a special number. You should know that zero point two five is actually one quarter. So when you divide any number by a quarter, that means you have to double this number. twice that is multiply this number by 4 and when you multiply that number by 4 you should know the trick of doubling the numbers so as you can see here 17 17 is 34 the double is 34 right and 84 the double is 168 so if you add this and this the doubles you are going to get the double of 17 Eight four, which is three, five, six, eight. Now what have I done? I have doubled this number, and I got a number which is the actually the divi division of this number by zero point five. Now I want to do that once more. So double this again, you get thirty five is seventy, right? And sixty eight is one thirty six. So seventy and one thirty six is seventy one. 36, which gives you your answer for this division problem. So 1784 divided by 0.25 gives you the double of double of 1784, which is 7186. Remember, this is a special case where the divisor is 0.25. Likewise, we can actually generalize this and get to our answer for the quotient when the number is divided by 0.125. So 0.125 is again a special number. You should know that 0.125 is actually one eighth, and when you are dividing by 0.125, that means you are doubling this number three times, and so the double of 680 is 1260, right? So 1360, and if you double this again, you get 26 and 120, so 2720, and you double this again. You get your answer fifty four forty, and now pick up the calculators and check. Is six eighty divided by point one two five five four four zero? You will be surprised by the accuracy of the result. Likewise, when the divisor is five, now this is one of the simpler things which you should understand. The dividend here is a big number five eight six nine three, a five digit number, and we have to divide it by five. now what do you do in such cases now suppose i write 58693 and upon 5 divided by 5 right it is easier to divide a number by 10 so if i know the skill of doubling this number i can double this also and so the double of this number will actually give me my answer because you just have to divide it by 10 and division by 10 is pretty easy you have to put a decimal one digit from the right hand side How do you double this? So two threes are six, two nines are eighteen. So eight and a one carry. 
12, 13, 3 and a 1 carry, 17, so 7 and a 1 carry and then we have the 11. Now put a decimal 1 digit from the right hand side, you get your answer. Here is your answer for the question 11738.6. Likewise, when the divisor changes to 4, now comes the use of halving. That means taking the half. Here we were using doubling because the number, the divisor was in decimals and now we will be using halving. So we should know how to take half of 4609 and then the number obtained will also be half because division by 4 is division by 2, 2 times, right? 4600 becomes 2300 and 09 becomes 04.5. See, how did I halve that number? I don't use any calculator or anything to halve the number 2304.5. Now, if you take the half of this number, 1, then 1 again. So, 10 means 5, 4 means 2 and 0.5 means 0.25. Now, just check using the calculator 4609 divided by 4 is actually 1152.25. Likewise, now the special divisors. If we have the number 7 as the divisor, now the trick changes. Whenever the number to be divided is, uh, is a big number and you have to divide it by 7, try to convert that into a mixed number first. So, I can write 379 upon 7. When I divide 379, by 7, I will get 5, so 29 means 4 and a remainder of 1, so 1 seventh. Now I should know that 1 seventh is actually 0 point, the double of 7 is 14, double of 14 is 28 and double of 28 is 56, one more than that is 57. Now if you remember that 1 seventh is 0.142857 repeated on and on. So this, these six digits are going to repeat themselves on and on. 0 0.142857, 142857 and so on. So pretty easy here. See, now 379 divided by 7 will be 54 and 1 seventh, right? So your answer will be 54.1 is this number. So 142857 and these six digits are going to repeat over and over again, right? Now, when the div uh, divisor now changes to little bit, a little bit of a big number like 20. Now, whenever you have zeros in the divisor, it becomes all the more easier because 147 upon 20 is actually 147 divided by 2, that means half and then divided by 10. Division by 10 is not a problem, right? Only halving is the problem. So let's take the half of 147. It is 73.5. And when you divide this by 10, you get your answer for the question. This is 7.35. Friends, keep on checking all the calculations which I am doing here using the calculator and I am sure you are going to enjoy the short tricks. Let's see another short trick where we have to divide a number by 11. Now this is really interesting, we are dividing a number by 11. Again, just like this question, I used the mixed numbers to get to my quotient. Here also I will use the mixed numbers. So 1, 2, 6, 4, so 11, 1s are 11, so 16 means 1 again, 54 means 4 again and then you have the remainder as 10, so 10 upon 11, right? So I just converted that to a mixed number. Now there is a very interesting pattern which division by 11 follows. The number here is, this is a uh, proper fraction, right? The number in the numerator is less than the number in the denominator. So your answer will be 114 point something, right? And what is that point something? Whenever you divide a proper fraction, like the denominator is 11, then just multiply the numerator by 9. So 10 into 9 is 90, right? 
and guess what this 90 is going to repeat over and over again to give you the answer so 1264 divided by 11 will be 114.10 into 990 so 909090 is going to repeat again and again now let's take another random number 13 now the vedic maths comes to our rescue division by any number up to 20 if it is a random number like there is no specific method like this you can do horizontal division and horizontal division helps you in saving time so uh, what will i do here is i will write 4 4 4 7 3 and then i will write it, the divisor on the left here like this okay so the first digit 4 is smaller than 13 so i have to consider two digits i am doing the traditional division only okay so 44 right 13 3 times is 39 and so 44 minus 39 is 5 so i'll write a 5 here because i have already considered 44 so i am going to eliminate the use of 44 now okay so now here 5 so 5 and 4 now it becomes 54 so 13 4 times is 52 and 54 minus 52 is 2 i'll write that 2 here so that this 4 also gets eliminated 27 right so 13 2 times is 26 27 minus 26 is 1 so i'll write a 1 here and that's it 1 and 3 13 13 1s are 13 and there is no remainder that means the quotient is 3, 4, 2, 1 and the remainder is 0. Friends, this is a very basic video of mental division short tricks and I am sure, you know, students do not use these smart things and only 1 out of 100 students uh, know, you know, how to use these in actual calculations. So, practice is a must and if you watch all these things and think that you will be able to implement it or apply it in solving big division problems it, it doesn't work that way you just have to uh, put in hours and hours of practice and uh, try taking 30 40 questions of each type only then you will feel comfortable with the method so friends if you like this video of division by some special numbers eight short tricks in this video do share it with all your friends do subscribe the channel and click the bell shaped icon thanks for watching this video and all the best for your practice